Welcome back to BS that should never happen in War Thunder, but it is happening nonetheless. Here we have the MiG-29, the first one, the 913, and you get a couple of R-27ERs equipped with this plane. Yes, R-27ERs. Granted, you face other MiG-29s, granted, you face other F-16s, but most importantly, like the series that I've been doing lately, you face lower tier stuff just like the F-4s, just like the MiG-23s, uh, Tornadoes, all of that. Even MiG-21s. Well, some might argue that they're bisses, but hey, what can you do to a, uh, an R-27 in the face? Or an R-60 from the side, and when the people don't see it, they're going to die. Just like this MiG-23 right here in front of us, a premium player mindlessly going um, into the battlefield watching TikTok. I guess. In front we get a Mirage, we smack it with a radar missile and he cannot do anything about it. The R27ER, man. If you don't know what this missile is, let me just break it down to you. This is literally the strongest missile in game. This is the missile that the SU-27 and the MiG-29 SMT equips at top tier. At 12.7 currently at the making of this video. Now, coupled with this airframe that we have right here, let's be fair, the MiG-29, the first one, doesn't have the best of airframes out of the entire MiG-29 series in War Thunder or in real life. But nonetheless, it is potent. You get your 30mm GSH-30, or uh, as I like to call it, GUSH-30 cannon, which shreds through every, uh, everything. Of course, you're going to get crits, hits, stuff like that from time to time. But when it hits, believe me, it's going to either cripple the plane or destroy it completely. Now, what is the other good thing about this aircraft? And that's going to be the um, HMD. HMD, you get it both on radar, and the radar here is not a terrible radar at all. And you get it with a uh, with R60s. Uh, basically, that allows you to pull on shots or pull off shots that are almost impossible for a regular MiG-23 or MiG-21 or an F4S to do. Even the uh, F16 doesn't have this. So, what can you do about it? Absolutely nothing. And to be fairly honest. I really do not understand why this particular plane is being at this BR. Like, this is the first MiG-29 that War Thunder has gotten. And to be fairly honest, it's... There's kind of a story behind it. And I'm going to tell it, so story time. When this plane was going to get added, it's, it was going to get added with R-73s and R-27Rs. Not ERs, just the regular Rs. And mostly American players, when I say American players, people who play the American nation religiously and generally don't have the Soviet tree or the Soviet vehicles. Those players went into a rage. How could you give the MiG-29, the R-73s, and uh, yeah, basically it's going to ruin top tier and how could you do that Gaijin? Like it's going to be absolutely overpowered. It should only have R60s. And let's face it, R60s before the missile updates and everything, they used to be terrible. Like from the back, even one flare, that's it. Like literally, we used to joke about R60s and how you could throw a matchstick out of the cockpit and the R60 will go for that instead of the plane. I, it was absolutely terrible. Of course, you could make it work just like any other missile, but compared to the AIM-9M, or the, I'm sorry, the AIM-9L that we had at the time, which the AIM-9L had IRCCM at that time, believe it or not, like, it's, it's insane. And me being a Soviet lover, like, I love Soviet jets and all of that, and I absolutely adore them in design, in, in, in uh, strategy, in doctrine. I love them more than NATO planes. Like, there are still some NATO planes that I like, but Soviet planes just, mm, they, they just hit the spot for me, you know? So I got on the Gaijin Discord and straight to the feedback channel. We have a feedback channel in there where we can voice our opinions and like they all get delivered to the devs. Uh, so basically I said, 
that this is a great move that the r73 on the dev server was a little bit too broken and with like the right tweaking it could be a really really good missile for the soviet tank tree and it's going to be a nice replacement to the r60 a lot of content creators didn't agree with that like there was a split between content creators and an actual split between com the community at the time and like a lot of the content creators said no the r73 is too overpowered and it needs to be nerfed to the ground and a lot of content creators said well it is an absolutely perfect missile and it should be added and the community mostly at the time predominantly uh like basically um, american mains american tech tree mains they said no to the r70 uh, r73 so gaijin had to come up with a solution and that solution is give the mig 29 its uh, set of r60 ms but at the same time give them a new missile the r27 er and this is how the entire issue of the R27ER got added in the game. Literally because of the um, overwhelming vocal majority of US mains, the US tech tree mains. I'm not targeting US people for this, like the people from around the world that enjoy playing the American tech tree. Because of those people, now we have one of the most broken controversial missile in war thunder added so there you go that's how american mains well ruined the game for us basically well not for us us in general so there we go now to make matters worse we have this missile at 12.0 right now this aircraft right here is at 12.0 so there is literally nothing that you can do about it when you get into that up tier against it now granted a lot of people don't know how to use the uh, mig 29 and r60s generally don't really work from long ranges like the aim 9l does but still those are two confirmed guaranteed kills for any mig 29 913 pilot out there and the 912 too because the 912 is literally the same as this plane at the same vr but on the german tech tree so what war thunder could do is literally give this thing its r 73s and literally up tier it to 12.7 just like every single mig 29 out there except for the 912 anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to join the discord it's a fancy notification bell down there and uh, i'll see you on the next one